is the story of how we first met. And I just want to warn you up front that my version of how we met is actually the truth. Um, <laughs> that won't be but, the truth. Uh, if he has to say that, that means it won't be the truth. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, today we'll be talking to you about how we met and um, how our relationship has progressed. talking for the longest about doing this YouTube video so we wanted to kind of give you guys some insight into who we are and what our day-to-day -day is and our life basically um, so today what we're gonna talk to you about is the story of how we first met and I just want to warn you up front that my version of how we met is actually the truth um, <laughs> that won't be but, the truth um, if he has to say that that means it won't be the truth <laughs> But anyway, uh, so yeah, today we'll be talking to you about how we met and um, how our relationship has progressed. So, how long has it been since we been um, since we posted a YouTube video? The last time we posted a YouTube video was when we did the reveal for Aubrey. So yes, two years. Sorry, ago. I'm not sure. Sorry, that's our house. Uh, um, that was two two years ago. Yeah, so so it's been two years. So sorry for neglecting you guys. Um, yeah, and we kept saying on Instagram, we was like, okay, we'll post a video, um, give us some topics, and um, if you guys haven't noticed, we had two kids since then. Um, <laughs> so our life has been pretty hectic. So I'm gonna get caught. Um, two kids, three dogs, um, and then him that I have to deal with. So um, doing a video was kind of. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Um, in the back of my head. So, um, first, I want to apologize, but um, we got a lot of topics, um, a lot of DMs, people just saying, you know, you guys should have a YouTube and um, tell us about yourselves. Um, when we were expecting our daughter, we actually had planned to do that, um, like kind of keep you guys updated with everything. Unfortunately, we had a miscarriage, so after that, we kind of just stopped um, posting on our channel. But we're back. Um, we want to feel you Definitely guys never. in. <laughs> um, on what we're doing now and of course answer any questions you have but first make sure you guys subscribe um, leave comments um, let us know what you want to hear um, follow us on Instagram um, tarot.and.jarius um, and definitely that's so let us complicated know. just type in tarot and jarius we'll pop up you can't help but see us okay yeah but anyway so um, <laughs> we got a DM um, we, we did a poll and you know asked people what they wanted to hear about and um, this person asks multiple questions, but the first question was, how did you guys meet? So, um, I'll go ahead and let Jarius tell you the truth. It is the truth. How we met. So, this is how we met, right? I have, um, a female cousin, um, and she moved to Terrell's hometown. So, um, which is Lake Charles, Louisiana. So, she moved there, and, um, Terrell had a girlfriend at the time who lived in Lake Charles as well. So um, she was dating, Ter my cousin was dating Terrell's male cousin and they got together and they came to Baton Rouge. This sounds where so complicated. We, um, it's really not. So like they came to um, the city where we were going to school at. So we met at 13 Gates, which is like the best haunted house in the world. Um, uh, so I was there with my then ex-boyfriend, who shall well, who shall remain nameless. Uh, leave him where he is. I'm pretty sure he's watching. But anyway, um, not watching. <laughs> he keeps up. <laughs> he keeps up. <laughs> but uh, so I was there with my ex, and Terrell, of course, was there with his girlfriend, and then my cousin was there with her boyfriend. So um, feathers coming. It's feathers. We well, at least you know it's feathers. <laughs> But so we went in the haunted house and um, there was this one part where it was like, was it live snakes or was it like? No, but they look like. Nice it snakes. was a it was 
to my knowledge, it was a mechanical snake. And one thing, if you guys know anything about Tara, he hates snakes. Cannot stand them. So, um, there was this part where we were going through the part with a snake. And um, I was like, I'm not really scared of them, but whatever. So, I was like holding on to my boyfriend because he was leading the way. And then, next thing you know, I'm thinking, like, somebody's holding on to my jacket. And I'm thinking, this is my cousin. So I turn around, and it's Tara. And I'm like, I don't even know you. Like, why are you? you wanted to know. I was like, why are you holding on to me? Like, don't you have a girlfriend back then? I wasn't interested. So, um, we went through the, the haunted house or whatever. And then after that, we decided to go to IHOP. I know, real trifle. We don't go no more. But anyway. So we went there to. There may be people who actually eat IHOP every day. It's still trifle. So anyway, uh, no mind. So we went. <laughs> if you like IHOP, no, everybody in Atlanta now is a Waffle House. Yeah, that's just. You know, well in Louisiana there's not too many Waffle Houses. It's IHOP. But anyway, so we went to IHOP and uh, we were having a conversation, and I feel like we were just the only two having a conversation. Like, we were just asking questions about one another. But if you guys was, know me, I ask questions to anybody. So, it he had nothing to do with. All right. No. Clearly. But anyway, uh, so, he, like, we were just talking, having a really good conversation. And then the night ended. Uh, we found out that we lived right around the corner from each other. Like, I lived on the street before him. Um, we didn't know that. So... Um, we kind of forgot about each other, like exchange, like social media, and then, <laughs> uh, <laughs> y'all see he lying, that's why he laughing. So, we, um, so like I randomly hit him up, and, um, he was like, I just asked him how, they ended up going out sometime, or whatever. So I was just like, you know, how was the club, like, keep in mind, we were like 18, 19, 18 years old at this time. Uh, we were, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're 18, we're 25 now. But anyway, we're, uh, we're 25. Um, but, so that happened and I hit him up and I was like, you know, how's the club, blah, blah, blah. Then randomly one day, I used to work at Champ Sports in the mall of Louisiana. And he came in with his cousin. Um, so I was just like, hey, like, you know, what's up? Like, how y'all doing or whatever? And Terrell swears up and down that he didn't remember. You know who I was. You know who I was. Don't play. I literally didn't. So, uh, we, like, kind of played it off. And then what happened after that? Y'all want to know the truth now? So, you just pick up where we left that. that what I said was the truth. Song. No, it wasn't. Yes, that I did. Was the truth. Only thing I liked about Darius was his jacket. I was in a committed relationship. I was very faithful. Ooh. I had no intentions on talking to him at all. Um, he had the intention of talking to me, uh, <laughs> um, you know, uh, Tara, don't that's the truth. That. That's, the truth. That. I, that's the truth. All right. Tell me the All lie. Right. The lie is he wanted me. Okay. Let's be clear. He wanted I was me. happy in a relationship, but anyways, kind of picking up where he up. It was, um, right around. Um, it wasn't too far away. We was in, so mid October first, so it was close to Halloween. So I know that we did. Um, I'm, so I'm gonna just be very upfront. We was very trifling. We moved very quickly. But let's go ahead. So he tell me all the time. I wasn't gonna say that. But he's saying the timeline. So no, I'm just saying October first. But um, we so it was a Halloween party, and me and my cousin went to the mall, like he said, and walked by Champ Sports, and he was just like, "Hey, hey, guys." whatever oh that's um, I'm like so and i was just whack. like i walked up and legit had a conversation with him um my cousin seemed to remember who he was and i was just talking to him but then we walked away i was just like who was that <laughs> um and then my cousin told me who it was i was like oh okay like he didn't even look the same um and so we went to the party well, that's when, back when we were real active on Twitter, he hit me up um, afterwards and was just like, you know, so, hey, man, like, how was the club last night, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, no, it was cool. How was your night? Because he actually told us that he was staying in to throw a party for his friend or have, like, a game night with his friends. Mm -hmm. um, and then the rest kind of just went from there. He became very explicit, you know, started texting me all the time while I was at work. 
um, things like that. And I'm granted me and my okay, girlfriend so, that okay, broke look, up, so we, I was not cheating. Honest, no, if we gonna be honest with them. Now we we can't be too explicit, but if we're gonna be honest no. with them, we have we to tell that what out. happened. No. So what no. happened is, is I, I'm gonna be very honest. I wrote Terrell, and I was being very forward. And well, actually, no, we skipped the whole part because I didn't even get to that. Like because I was still in a relationship. So basically, one night... You heard that? He was still in a relationship. I was. So, we were having issues. But anyway, I was still in a relationship, so I'll be honest. And um, one night, I was actually over at my ex-boyfriend's house. And... Um, it sounds so trifling. He... <clears throat> I'm going to let you just tell him to get out of this. He... Um, so they can judge you. <laughs> <laughs> So he to wanted to um, watch TV and it wasn't something that I wanted to watch. And at this point, like, I was communicating with Terrell, which is very wrong. Um, but I was communicating with Terrell and I was interested in him. And we were already having relationships, so... <laughs> That's, I just thought about relationship it. Relationship issues. We were already having relationship issues, and I just thought about it. That's why Terrell didn't know they were that's together. That's why our friend um, calls Terrell a homewreck. Uh -huh. <laughs> but we was having issues in our relationship, so I did. I built a um, home. Right, okay. But uh, so we were having issues, and I was just like, you know what, like, I'm going home. like, And I was just in my head, like, I don't have to deal with this. Like, I could be talking to Terrell. Like, I'm going to just pursue that. So I did. So I actually wasn't readily available like that for him to think that he could just talk to me. So don't feed into that. Anyways, long story short, we got together. Um, the boyfriend wasn't happy. It was plenty of issues after that because um, Jarius was very trifling. However, we've been together going on seven years now. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Um, <laughs> But looking back on it, um, it was crazy. We like were definitely in college and exploring and um, getting in trouble. We're definitely um, in different places now. I am very now. changed. I am not at this of a hothead as I used to be. Um, and we're parents now, so it's like, you know, we, we can't be doing the things that we used to do in college. But just know that there was a past and... <laughs> I was Jarius Goodo before I was Jarius Joseph, so you know, just in case people forget uh, what that means. Um, that means don't try me. All my man. I'm just playing. Yeah, playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how we met. Um, let's see. It was. It's a lot more details in that, but it for is. the sake of being very. Um, very PG here. We're going to save the details, but what's the next question? Actually, well, listen, if y'all can get us to, how many subscribers we have right now? I don't know. We can get to 150, we'll share those details. Hmm. It's gonna be a lot of bleeping, but you know, we will share the details with you. So make sure that you subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, subscribe. Okay, so that concludes the first session of Terrell and Jari's. Um, hopefully with this, like, you've gotten to see who we are. Um, I know that we really don't post a lot of videos, and we don't really give much insight outside of our pictures. Um, so we Which we have new ones coming, by the way. So, yes, we do. Um, we just took... Um, check those out. We had a photo shoot on Sunday. So we are excited to share those with you, but... Um, we're really excited to like give you more of who we are and you know just a little bit more personable we're gonna try to um, expand and we're gonna try to stick to it please be patient with us um, as you heard somebody thinks their job is just so stressful and tiring so I'm always down up to do the videos that but shame, um, we have to make sure that um, somebody is I didn't sign up well this. rested enough <clears throat> to come and chat with you guys I'm about to leave <laughs> um, and then maybe you know 
Yeah. We could do it early enough. We include the kids. They're on a strict bedtime. So seven o'clock is bad time. We don't play. So um, so y'all might not get to see them. Maybe if they wake up, we'll come. Maybe if we do it on like a Sunday or something like that, you'll get to see them. But they're growing, uh, screaming and, and drooling. I actually want to start doing um, like vlogs. You couldn't swear that. No. What? Because that just seemed like it was a very different transition. But anyway. I mean, I just want to do vlogs. So maybe they can see you during the day since I'm home all the time. I'll go show the kids. And our three dogs. <clears throat> yes. So, again, like, share, subscribe. Make sure, like, you reach out to us. Stay active with us. Make sure you comment. So comment below. Um, you'll see all our social media channels. Um, we're not really big on Facebook, but... Um, or majority on Instagram. Um, so follow us on Instagram. You can either DM us, um, comment on this video, and just let us know what you want to see, um, what you want to hear about. Um, and one thing that I do want to make sure that I mention too, um, it's very important to us that we give you guys a glimpse of a different side of gay couples. So like, you know, not all gay couples are you know, doing all this crazy stuff out here. Like, you know, we're just normal people. Like, we live regular lives every day. And we really just want to make sure that we do right by you guys by putting out a positive image. Which we not put no fronts for nobody or anything like that. Like, this is legit who we, who we are. I was about to say who he is. Ugh. Bunky. <laughs> <laughs> Bunky. But this is legit who we are. Um, so, like, you know, just make sure that you, you guys continue to follow us as we go. And support us. Thanks so much for all the support. So, so until next time, bye.